said, I've been running around for this travel. The reason why I came to KB State. I'm yeah, you don't want me, Neely really Pop. You don't want me. <laughs> YouTube as if you not kill somebody. So the passport that Lipo put on top of thumbnail is for what? Eh? Okay, you were just advertising that going to Australia woman. I mean, I traveled to Australia woman. You're not traveling to Australia. You're not traveling to Japan. Really, po po. <laughs> My people, it took a video chok. Thank God that I told you guys in that last video about, I did about Lily. That Lily did not say anywhere that she's going to. And when she says it, I'll come and tell you. Share you people head with your two ear with yourself. Now, did you hear? Abby, you did not hear. Hey! <laughs> did you hear? Lily, therefore, it's like KB State. KB, Birini, KB. Yeah, Abby, you know, yeah. Hey, I said I should come and tell you guys because I'm the one that put my mouth to come and tell you guys that uh, she did not tell us when she said where she's going. Uh, then I never know she was going with uh, Dadim, but she went with her Dadim. Uh -huh. And then I think she left her kids and went with her Dadim to Kevin State. So Lily Pop have not jacked out of Nigeria for all of you. I thought it's not only me. Someone somebody left it in her comments. Lily really like it and reply that uh, I thought you are jackpa. Hey, Riri. Your clickbait is one. No, this one. Mm -mm. I seriously, guys, I thought maybe Lily was traveling out, though. I know, like, really, I thought Lily was traveling out. Probably she just didn't want to tell us, you know. But when she bought a, uh, what do they used to call it? What was that? Or her leave? I said, which kind of small or her be this one? Where Lily said she won't carry this one, you know, go dry, finish. Hey, hey, this kind of travel. Anyway, guys, you saw it there. You heard it from, yeah, Lily now. Nah. Yeah, KB, be really KB. I be out with the color. What would they sing for school that year? That is where it is right now. She's gonna be giving you guys what to what to vlogs from from KB State. So you should look out. As she said, if you are fans, you can hear what Lily has to say. Yeah, we gonna come chill. If you're a subscriber and you're in KB State, please DM me. We can hang around. We can see at mommy. <laughs> I hear said that mommy be on number one, the number one, the champion. <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Bunny. Go to all my returnees. You all welcome. And if any, thank you so very much. I appreciate every one of you for clicking on today's video. Don't be beans if you easy room. Support Bunny Go if you easy. You know, easy. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you guys. Yes, 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 yes. I'm back with a bunch of G's. And let's just get in because I see the hot. So let's continue the G's with Nelo, KK, and the proud father-in-law hmm so according to nello kk her father in law came around i watched that vlog because i like to see children's interaction with their grandparents and that was my curiosity of even clicking and i loved how grandpa was with you know the grandchildren really sweet but the part that you know touch touch me more in that video was when nello was telling us you know she told her husband that she's sure that the father is going to be proud of him for what he has achieved and he was like yeah and then how the father you know was praying for the compound how she bought the wrong cola nut and he had to go and buy the right one himself and you know offered stuff to the you know the gods of the land you know to bless them more and more you know they say give what belongs to caesar to caesar and give what belongs to god to god okay so let's leave it at that if you know you know if you don't know forget about it anyway big us congratulations to nelo kk we are still boxing in you know the aura or the euphoria of the house they built is a big one guys the big achievement and congrats to everyone that is achieving really on the street of youtube congrats to you guys so guys let's jump to a daisy who would have thought that a daisy is going to be jack buying to canada like who would have thought in your wildest dream ever that the one person that was going to be leaving nigeria is going to be a daisy although she said it then that oh if a ob doesn't win then she might just pack up a bag and leave and also i think a sister um is outside nigeria so yeah i get why and she said that this has been a long process you know this has been a long process a daisy is jack buying to canada and she's not going with her children she'll be leaving her children at home and the grandparents as a daisy parents are going to be in a daisy's house to watch over the children while a daisy 
drop us to Canada. Now, we don't know if Adese is going with her husband because she said her husband is also traveling. So, we don't know if they are traveling together or if they are going separately. And we don't know the purpose of the travel. But Adese said you guys should get ready because <laughs> you will not hear anything on this street of which is going to be Canada this, Canada that. And, you know, we could see her prepping, buying stuff, telling us that, ah, that's 23 kg that they were giving the airplane is a very, very small thing. It's not big goal. But I, I heard you can also pay if you get there and you want to, you know, fly with those things. You can pay for extra space. But I heard it's not cheap to pay. Anyway, guys, that being said, big ups to a daisy. Congratulations to her on going to Canada. If it's easy, run on. If it's easy, run on. The way they can't tell me, say if it's easy. <laughs> YouTube and drama. Anyway, if it's easy, run am now. It's not easy, really. She said it was. She had come a long way, you know, the process and everything. I'm sure they are still going to fill us in. And I like the way YouTubers are doing their things these days. Like some of them are just coming to carry us, carry us along later on. Like they've done their thing and they're carrying us along later on. Um, like Nelo Geke, we said it a while back that oh, those pregnancy content where you know you you are not carrying us on the go. She didn't like it, but that was what Neka did. She carried us later on. So at the end of the day. Eh, I'll keep saying it, just do you and the world will adjust, you know. If you want to carry us later, carry us later. If you don't even want to carry us along in your life, don't carry us. But if you want to carry us along, we appreciate it because we like this. You get to want to know what's happening with you. Yeah, you, right? Yeah. You that YouTuber, I want to know. Anyway, so congratulations to our Daisy. We look forward to hear everything about this trip. I don't know if it's a permanent one, if it's a vacation. We don't know anything right now, but I'm sure in the coming days we're going to hear everything. And we'll wait her to come and give us Canada this. Canada that. Canada this. Canada that. <laughs> so let's talk about Nazums who has come to announce a third baby. Hey, <laughs> wahala. When I saw it, my baby is here. I believe she called her title. When I saw it, I was like, ah, ah. Nazum, enjoy, enjoy yourself. Oh, baby, before emails. Oh. Eh, having baby back to back, or did I use it now? And oh, she said, showing can they use? You know, I was saying, ah. Now, Zom, don't you want to enjoy yourself? You don't want to give yourself a break, a breather. You know, but when you have money, you can do what you want to. Hey, it's people that don't have money that used to space children too much sometimes. And some people that just wants to want their body to rest from making babies because it takes a while for you to regroup and get yourself back after having a baby. Anyway, she's not pregnant. Mm, but she has given birth. Yes. Nazom is not pregnant, but she has given birth. How? How is that possible, princess? Let me gist you. So, for those that know Nazom, she is our chef. Like, she went to culinary school. So, she can actually pass for a chef. She can apply for a job for a chef if she ever wants to. But now, she says she's starting her own food business. And she's not going to be selling to the public until January. But right now, for now, what she's doing is she's still testing out recipes, trying out different things. And she got her first catering job, which is her mother-in-law's birthday. So she's going to be catering for the function. She was trying one or two stuff. So congratulations to her on that. I mean, like, people are doing big things. People are doing well. People are achieving their dreams. And I applaud every one of them. And I want to say, please, eh? There's nothing wrong in staying in Nigeria if it's working for you. I was discussing with, you know, somebody and I was saying, do you know that this Tunubu administration is actually favoring some people and is not favoring some people? So if the country is favoring you, by all means, be quite enjoy. You see Nelo open house, Abi. You see Adeze, they travel to Canada. You see, uh, what was her name? Bata with NJ. She opened new kitchen. In the Kaunwagu. They bought her a new car. In this administration, why some people are crying, are complaining? Oh, life is not fair. Oh, life is hard. So that is just life for you. It might not be favoring you right now, and it might be favoring other people. That's just life, and it is fine. But at the end of the day, what I would say is, if you have the means, the finances to leave this country, you know, please, by all means, do especially for your children. Okay? And if you're still young, you're just starting your life, you know, or you have a partner, you guys can plan together. Get out by all means, I beg. Because they've been shouting that the Nigeria is going to be better. Nigeria will have dreams. Even short, somebody was saying that Fela sang about all these things in their time. Fela, I don't know if you guys know Fela. Sova, Sova, Vogabe, Ejoy Heaven. Yes, during their time, he sang all these things that the country, this, that, that. But I'm sure that the hardship we are going through now in this country was not as bad as during the Fela time. And Baba has come to tell us that everybody cannot be rich. And he said it. Everybody cannot be rich. 
you know, and some of us we came from a poor background. So you able to manage yourself. If you can survive, gather money and get out, get out. And if you cannot get out, is this country you are thriving? Keep thriving. That is allowed. So big up to uh, Neze, Neze Vai, don't Canada too anyway. So but big up to all of them that have traveled. Because a whole lot of YouTubers not travel. Travel we just they see. Even uh, which ways did the travel, they are high too. But she said one or two things happen. We make her no be as she wants. So may God answer everybody's prayer. Uh -huh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you watch out to this point, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye. No, never every time I love you, but no, but but wait, wait, wait. I saw a video where you were addressing poor Nigerians to learn how to be calmida. To be poor is not a crime. Now, just to walk your way out. Poverty is not a shameful thing. If you look at your background, no matter how wealthy you are, it's a trace of poverty in it. <laughs>